Alrighty, I'm just going to jump right in here. going to do some tanned leather. And I was noticing that I wrote down on my little list here that I was going to do his shirt, which is why I picked that color, so we can get in there and get that painted before the cape. And I've also got the highlights on his pants are going to be tanned leather and the patches patches are going to be tanned leather too so this is going to be some base coating and a little bit of highlighting I think I also said I was going to do some of his hair in tanned leather as a highlight with muddy brown but I uh, I don't know move this around a little bit because I'm going to paint right on my elbow if I don't do that. So, what was I doing? Oh yeah, a shirt. Of course, he's got a patch on his shirt. What was I going to do there? And I'll do something different. Okay, probably dried my paint out there. Just paint over it. I don't think I wrote anything down for his belt either. And uh, there's always something I forget on these. So then I have to drop back and figure out what exactly I want to do. I think I got this tanned leather a bit too thin. It was one of these bottles that just got too thick so I've added water to it and I pour it out and oh okay this looks, works really good and I'll add just a little bit more water to it every time I do that it's just really not that great see I think I'm messing that up completely and suck a little bit of water off to see exactly where I'm supposed to be painting. See one little trick I picked up a long time ago was that you paint with the side of the brush so when you get to the edge it just kinda comes off naturally. But I don't think that really worked here at the top. Of course, you can see I'm not really getting that great of a coverage on it to begin with, and it's kind of puddling. Suppose I could just let my paint dry out on the palette. Ah, that'll happen eventually anyway. That or I could just learn better brush control. <laughs> That was a compliment that I was given very early in my painting career. Really kind of encouraged me to keep going. And uh, kind of surprising, but you know, I get new subscribers to the channel. And I thank you. I, got, I think I got two in recent time the past couple days and I want to say I got like five in the last week which really helped me want to paint more so I thank you for all your new subscribers I think I want to paint that I'm thinking of the the patches on his cloak and I don't want to paint them as leather yeah, it kind of makes sense to me to have leather on the knees. I think I'm just going to paint that belt black. So I'm not going to worry too much about getting it perfect. Oh, the sleeves. Where is that? 
yeah, I think his sleeve sticks out just a little bit from the cape right there. So that needs to be painted. Anyway, as I was saying, you know, just... You know, I'm not a good painter. I really don't have a lot of patience for it. But I get so many comments and, oh, wow, this was so great to watch. And it's like, really? You, you, you like that? And it's just really kind of weird in a way. Because, you know, what I do here, I don't really think of it that special. You know, this is you know, horribly, horribly basic stuff. And the amount of time I've been chronologically been painting I should be better and of course then I have to remind myself eh, you know when you only paint two figures a year you don't get that much improvement that fast you know I've done some really good ones that I've been very proud of but then there's others that just never seem to come out right And it won't be long now, because Reaper started to ship the bones. Yay! Mine is probably going to be at the very end. Although that would be kind of cool to be the very last bone shipment out. I think there's someone more complicated than me, so it won't happen. But anyway, I'm thinking, I don't know, I was thinking, you know, maybe I work on something other than a bones figure here shortly, but then again, it's going to be a lot of people painting bones, so it may be something to actually focus on even more, especially now that work is settling back down to something more manageable. If I could get the edge. I don't know if you can even see this online. Online, hey, hey. On the video. Yeah. Of course, no one's really going to pick the figure up and look underneath it. But what got me to thinking about all the you know, what I should paint next or in addition to this I, the reason I can't have two figures going at the same time except other than I only have one camera and it's rendering while I I think I've mentioned that before is it records then it renders then I put it into the uh, video editing program and it renders again and, and it saves off and renders and I really need to look into fixing that because I'm sure that's not really how it was intended to work I got some codec or something that just needs updating hopefully I'll try to get underneath there just to make it look nicer did I finish I don't think I finished the story anyway what got me thinking about all this was was on Reaper's forums today and I really hadn't had a lot of time to catch up on a lot of them and I don't even have a work in progress thread for this one and I should and I might get it uploaded when I as I'm waiting for this one to upload on YouTube and all that other good garbage but okay continuing the reason 
I did that was I stumbled on a, a work in progress thread. Or it was kind of more like a request thread. And someone requested the, the Reaper Kickstarter Sophie because they didn't know how to fill the gaps. And I was like, well, gee, I, I can just jump right on that. I can do that. And the post in question was actually from April. So I'm kind of like, okay, I don't know if I should really focus on something from April. And I'm going to say that's sleeve. Yep. And I was going to highlight his hair, kind of, but I don't know that I should, because I'm going to have to paint over that brown, but actually, I think I'll do that. And I've been told I shouldn't mix with the brush, so I'm not going to. I'm going to move a little bit of the paint over with it. And mix it up with my toothpick. I probably didn't mix up nearly enough, but let's see what we can do highlight wise. Mm. It gets too wet. Yeah, that's just running down into his hair. That's the opposite effect of what I want, so... Brush that off. Maybe it needs to be drier paint, not thinner paint. Well, obviously. Um, okay, let's just go back to the regular paint and kind of dry it off quite a bit. You're almost making this a... Uh, a dry brush technique, but the paint's still pretty wet. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a nice shiny spot on top if I can keep her from puddling very much. I think I continued with the, the point I was going to make, but kind of wondering if I should open it up to requests. And actually, that might be a good idea for like the vampire level that's being sent out that you know, nearly everybody gets. Don't want to get it too blonde here. Plus, I gotta still do the cape but anyway if you've got you know, once everybody starts getting the vampire package if there's a particular mini so as I was saying if there's a particular mini people think might be fun as a something watch me paint stumble through it Feel free to send a message or YouTube comment or, you know, put it up on my work in progress threads. Okay, so that's good for him. Now, wondering about highlighting the pants, because I said I was going to use the tanned leather. I may make this a very you know, normally I get down to the consistency of Kool-Aid on the, the pant, on the shades, but 
wondering if I should maybe do it a bit more blocky. Because I don't want to do a whole lot of layers. And one, th there's a hair sticking off the brush that's bothering me. I don't have anything to cut it with, so I'll just. You see me turning the brush into a strange direction, that's why. Anyway, I don't want to do a bunch of boring highlights and shades here, as it takes so much. And just that little bit right now already is kind of pooling where I don't want it to. Let me hit it with a glaze afterwards. And try to bring back some of that color. Of course, I think I'm going in the wrong direction anyway. It should be down towards the brightest spot. I think I'm going to call it good on that. It doesn't need to be too great of fancy pants. And you step away from a bit of it, and it looks fine. Tabletop. If you can hold it at hand length and it looks good, you're done. So, I think that's all I planned with the tanned leather. And I think that's all I can do for that. So, we'll call that good. And I'll see you in the next video.